Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, I've got sort of a sad report to tell you today. It's about Faye. Her name was Faye, and she was the mother swan that had become famous in Manlius. She became sort of a a, a picture, a, a token of what Manlius was. It gave Manlius a special personality. We've got this wonderful swan that lives here. We've given her a name, and now she has four babies. And what a wonderful thing to have her living with us in Manlius. Well, that all came to an abrupt end because over Memorial Day, a group of, now this is hearsay for me. I wasn't there. I don't know these people. But a group of teenagers went and killed Faye. They even took her home. and One of the families ate her. They captured the four little babies. And this became a huge story in Manlius. The police were out trying to find out what had happened. And the end of the story has a moral to it, too. You know, these are kids. And I know you can't excuse acts because they were kids. But I think of what we can learn from this. You know, I think back to when I was a kid. And hunting and fishing was the most important thing in my life. But was a sense of converse, conservation, a sense of of what all these things around me that was being coming a part of my life in hunting and fishing. Their, their role in our universe and their role in our life around us, I don't think I really understood as a kid. And maybe a lot of these kids don't. They don't, they don't see the value of all those other living things that are part of our world. And I think that's one of the, the, the saddest things of all this. And, you know, I guess... From what happened, they found who did it. There's felony charges. There's all kinds of things going on because one of the kids was over 18. But the other thing is they did find the baby swans. They're all under a biologist's care right now. Apparently, they're doing well. But this is a story. This is a story about the life that we live in, how changes can affect us so much, and how we have even, I think, a greater responsibility today than we did years ago to protect all those things around us that maybe so many of us took for granted before. And why do we have a greater responsibility? Because there's a lot of other external pressures on so many species right now. We, we know of so many species that are disappearing because of whatever, because of changes, because of climate changes, because of gas changes, everything that is, is existing today. And so to hear about Faye the Swan is a sad story. They're a magnificent-looking bird, and they bring so much new and special to our area. I don't remember swans here when I was a kid, and now I know we have, we have swans that we've seen in the Canton area. And I observed a swan flying over head over the St. Lawrence where I run one day, and I, w- I stopped, and I looked up, and I said, what is that great white bird I see? So... They're, they're, they, like so many other things, are great. And I, you know, I don't want to philosophize. I don't want to lecture. But I think this is an important story. And I think it's something we should stop, reflect on, and, and hopefully it can help us to be better. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.